Hey guys, so now we're going to go ahead and continue on with the covers for the Mini Everlasting. Um, the last video we got the uh, covers done, and so now we're going to do the binding, and we're going to add some things to the inside covers. So, I will link the printable in the description box below. I will link the playlist in the description box below. I'll even link maybe this specific video, so in case you missed it, you can go back and watch it. So, what you're going to need for uh, the binding is page 17. Okay, so all you need is page 17 for the binding, and then these two pieces are left over from other pages that we've already made. So we've already got the four pages made, so these are two of the pieces that are left over. We're gonna use that on the cover. All right, so I'm gonna get my paper trimmer out. This is a Fiskars Rotary Precision Paper Trimmer. And I'm going to go ahead and trim out all the way around these binding strips here. So the way I'm going to use the binding strips for this album is I'm going to do it the stack the deck style. So I will also link the uh, Laura Dittison's uh, original stack the deck video because I think it's a fantastic, awesome binding. Um, but it's so easy. So we're going to use that today. So what we're going to do is... These first three, the first three pieces, the first three um, sections, that will be, that will be the top layer, okay? Now, I showed you in my, when I did the Everlasting, I showed you the two different ways you could use these strips, so um, I probably won't go into super, super detail, but um, you can go back and look at that video if you like. So, this is the top layer of the Stack the Deck binding. So, then... What you need is you need one fin, you need a space, right? And then you need, because uh, this is going to attach down, so then you have that space, then you need a space, and then you need another fin. So basically, if you just lay this piece back on there, like this, then you want to add one fin to that. So that would be one, two, three, four, five sections. You want to cut off five sections. Okay, so that's for four pages. So if you had six pages, then you would do the same thing. And it works out absolutely perfectly if you use the binding that I provided. You don't have to. but So I'm going to put this back in my workbook. And I'm going to get my scoreboard out. This is an EK Tools scoreboard. I got it from... Oh, 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 I threw something. <laughs> something hit, hit the floor. Um... May May sent this to me, so I'll link her shop below. And we want to go ahead and score on all of these marks here. Um, this is also an EK Tools, uh, what's this called? Stylus? That one of my subscribers sent to me. So for the bigger piece, you don't need to score all of the, all of the lines. You do on this one, but for the bigger piece, you just need to score the two outer ones. So you can just leave these three pieces alone okay you don't have to you don't have to score all of them I was I misspoke well I don't know what's going on I've got too much stuff in my my little jar here okay so then we're going to go ahead and prep these so we're going to fold them one way and then we're going to fold them another way and then same for this one like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a good extra burnish. This is a Teflon bone folder. Uh, and I will, I have this linked in my Amazon um, list below, but I also have other lists. If you would rather support a scrapbooking company, I have other lists um, that I will also link below. So it's totally up to you. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I believe, is I'm going to go ahead and attach, um, no I'm not, not yet. First thing I'm going to do is, this is Distress Oxide Ink and Vintage Photo from Tim Holtz and Ranger. I'm just going to go ahead and ink this side here. I'm not going to ink the whole thing, just the ones that are white because this is going to lay on here like that and you'll be able to see it just a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and ink those just real quick. 
And I'm going to ink my fingers while I'm at it. Okay. I just want to do this before I attach them together so that um, it's not so difficult to get to. All right, so then I want to flip them over and I want to add some score tape. This is Sue Quain score tape. I want to add that to this midsection here. So this part uh, here will be added to the actual spine. So I'm going to cover the whole entire surface if I can. And I might have to get a smaller one, a smaller score tape to fit in between there. I think I will. Let's get a, a quarter of an inch here. There we go. All right. And then this piece just needs one strip right down the middle. All right, so these are these these parts are going to be this is going to go attached to the to the spine part right there and then this is going to be attached on top of it here. But I think before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add some tape to all of these fins or hinges or whatever you want to call them. I'm going to add front and back to all four. So this is for four, a book for four pages or the binding for four pages, I guess. So then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add it to the outside two uh, fins or hinges. So I'm going to do the same thing to this piece. And I'm staying away from the score mark because uh, we want to be able to turn our page easily. So if we was to put tape right up next to that score mark, um, it won't, it, you know, the, the page will be attached that close and it won't open and close as easy. So we want to go ahead and just go on that outer edge there. Just like that. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to take this one piece off, or backing off of the center there. Well, does this have a, a top and a bottom? Not really. And I'm going to carefully match them up. Hopefully. Top and bottom. I usually don't do a very good job because I can't get over top of it. Oh, I did pretty good. Then I'm going to go ahead and burnish that down. Alright, so then I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm just going to notch the, um, the fins or the hinges. So that the page can slide down on them just a little bit easier. I probably could have done this first. It wouldn't have been as hard to get in there and get that center one, but either way, you can't really mess it up. Okay. So now we have that, so it looks like that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just one more time, just give it a little prep. I just really want it to go freely both ways, back and forth. All right, so let's bring this back over here. All right, so I'm gonna take these back strips off here in the middle. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have checked. But we're going with it. I still don't think it has an up and down. So it should fit like right in here 100% perfectly. <laughs> right? Doesn't everything work that way? All right. Putting it down. And again, I'm going to burnish it down. 
Boy, I just love the addition of that ribbon right there. It's so cute. Okay. Whoops, did y'all see that? I'm gonna go ahead and tack that down before I before I tear it up. I don't know if I just didn't get glue there or what. I mean, I remember tearing it up when I distressed the edges, but anyway. All right. So what do we think? Easy, right? All right, so the next thing we wanna do is grab our pages and we need to decide which pages go in what order. So there is our cover. I love this page so much. So, so much. I, I, don't, I, I think it's this. I think it's this pretty trim. I love it so much. I like them all. They're all adorable. Okay. <laughs> so, let's... I like that one. Let's see what else we got here. I like, I like them all. Dynamite. Okay, so this one's thinner. So let's put this between uh, two thick pages to kind of like break it up a little bit. What if we put, let's see. What if, oh, there's door, door. Okay. Um, 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 um. Oh, what if we put that there? Oh, that's too, this is the same paper. Oh, wait a minute, it'd be like this. So what if we put th that there? Or we could put it like this. No, I like it like this. Okay, so what if we did it like this? So what ends up happening, you guys, is my favorite page my favorite page stays on the front. Woo! <laughs> I do love that. I love. I think it's just the trim. It's so pretty. I love this one too, though. This is the first one we made. I love this one too. But I think that I think that this is the way I'm going to keep it. All right. So that's the order we're going to go in. So. So they're going to be in the book like this. So let's start in the back. I love this page too. Just let me make sure, and I still got to fix my boo boo. Let me make sure nothing's going to be hindered in any way. I kind of like it this way though. What's the one before it? All right, so let's do it like this. So I flip this way. Boop. Yeah. No, it's got to go this way. It's going to go this way. Okay, all right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, you guys, is I'm gonna take the backing off of one side here. And I'm gonna use a little bit of a cheapy glue stick. This is a Hobby Lobby brand cheapy glue stick, and I'm just gonna add just a little bit so I've got some wiggle room. And we don't have any insert, side pocket inserts in here yet, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'm gonna turn my book a little bit. And I'm just going to slide this down over top. Don't go too far. And I'm going to lay it down just to make sure we've got it. Yep, it's straight. Oops. There we go. Okay. So I've got it attached on one side. Then we want to flip it and then reach in here and pull out the backing on that side and squish it down. All right. So now we got one page added. That wasn't so hard. And then here's the next page. Same thing. I'm going to take off the backing here. Oh, I better use my little bit of glue stick. And then we're going to slide it down over top carefully. Don't go too far. We're going to lay it down and match it up. Wonderful. 
And then we're going to flip it over, get the backing off of this side. Okay, I actually put that one on just a little crooked. But you know what? You can't tell. You sure can't. That's awesome. All right, so then let's do the third page. A little piece sticking out there. Same thing. Gonna take the gonna take the backing off of this one side. Little bit of glue stick. And then we're going to slide this down on here. This is the skinniest page we've made. And not too far. Oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the glue stick glue. I'm like, what is sticky? It shouldn't be sticky. Open this up right here. Take the backing off of this tape. And did I put that one on crooked too? I might have, but again, it's totally fine. Eh, not too, it's not too bad. All right, last one. Um, let's flip it this way. Let's take the backing off. A little bit of glue stick. And then we're gonna slide this on here. This one's a thick one. Okay. Alrighty. I can't see. There we go. Not too far. Open it up. Reach in here. Grab it. I think we got that stuck. Let me retie this. I feel like it's loosey goosey. Okay, so now look, all of our pages are. Oh, well, at least I didn't accidentally have the two that have the lace trim on top not next to each other. At least I spread those out a little bit. So the only thing is, there'll be a pocket here, which will be hard to get something in there because this was supposed to be on the back side. But that's okay. That's okay. And there's a pocket here. All right. Next thing is let's put um, let's put a pocket. We're gonna do the pocket. So this is from page six. We're gonna put the pocket. Um, I think we're gonna put it on front here. Oh, I can't decide. Yeah, I think we'll put the pocket, or maybe not even, we'll put it, you know, upside down. You know what I mean, where you can't see the Hartley script. This is just what's already been printed out because we used other uh, parts. So, you just gotta, since you printed it out already, might as well make do, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim this all the way out. And then I'm also, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this belly band because I think we're gonna use it back here. But I think we're going to use it as a solid piece. I think I'm going to make it a solid piece. I'm not 100% sure yet. Debating. But I'm going to go ahead and trim this out as well. And then I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got these trimmed out. So now what I want to do is I want to get my scoreboard back out. And I'm going to score. Whoops. Um, in this pocket here, I'm going to score all three pieces or all three tabs. And score there. Score here. And then I'm going to score these two. Oops. It's hard to score that way, it's upside down. Right? So then I'm just going to go ahead and prep these both ways and all of them. I'm 
something like this. I think, I think I am gonna turn the pattern down. So I think the pocket's gonna go like this. Just like that. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of a burnish. And then on this one, I am going to make it like a solid, but I'm going to turn it this way. I think I must not. I am going to make it a solid belly band. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish those down. So the next thing I want to do, I'm not going to distress either one of these with any sort of um, tool because it's the pocket it'll be matted so i'm going to ink part of it and then i'm going to spread it out just like that and then i haven't put these together yet because i want to go ahead and ink this edge on this one but i don't think i'm going to ink well i might as well since i got my ink out just in case you might see some of it you never know all right Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and put tape on all three of these pieces. I'm going to use the quarter of an inch, of an inch, <laughs> quarter of an inch sequin score tape. Put some on there. Put some on there. And there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put them on these two. Remember, this isn't going to actually open. This is going to be um, one solid belly band. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and attach these things down. I'm going to flip the two side pieces. Whoops, wrong one. I'm going to flip the two side pieces up and I mean the backing of the two side pieces anyways and then I'm going to flip that bottom part up like that and attach the bottom part to the side just so that inserts don't get stuck and I'm going to use a little bit of glue stick not because it helps hold it down it just gives me some wiggle room and I'm going to go ahead and position this on here like that, it should fit perfectly. So whatever pieces you've got left over from when you printed out the pages, the different parts of the pages that you were making, look through all that and then start using them like on the covers and on the inserts and things. So there's the pocket. So then let's flip this down this way. And I'm gonna take the top piece, take the backing off of that. And I'm going to try to guess, because I can't get my head over top here. I'm going to try to guess the center. I have a feeling I'm not going to do a very good job. But it's okay. All right. And I'm going to try to keep it straight. All right. Let me go ahead and burnish that down. And then I'm going to take this backing off here. I'm going to put a little glue stick on this so I have some wiggle room. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to try to match it up. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to try to match it up squarely. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to mat these and then I'm going to glue them together so that it looks like it's supposed to come apart, but it doesn't. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay, so here's the paper line that we're using. Time for tea. It is from LDRS Creative. And it's a beautiful paper line. We've been using it the whole time. And then here is the coupon code that she gave us. J-E-N-O-F-E-V-E 20. It's 20% 20 off. So I will link uh, her website below, LDRS Creative. And don't forget to use your coupon code. So I've picked out one sheet so far 
for this pocket. So this one has really soft little hearts on it. You're probably not going to be able to tell. So I was thinking of matting the pocket with that. And then here's some of that trim that we sprayed um, in the one video. I'll try to link it below specifically. And then here's one of the dies. So I thought maybe layering these two up would look really pretty on this side um, on the pocket there. So I think that's what we're going to do. So the first thing, or, or we could do it like this. We could have this um, behind that and that right there. No, that looks kind of goofy, doesn't it? They either need to, I think they both need to either go the same way or the opposite. What if that one was on top? I just thought the green would stick out better against this background. What do you think? They both look good. I don't know. I just think it would look kind of silly this way, this way, you know? I kind of like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. All right, so let me get the mat for that pocket. What, what page should I say that pocket was on? Is it on page number six? Yep. So there is the mat, which is on page 20. And so all we need to do is bring this sheet over here. I'm going to trace it out, cut it out, ink it up, and distress it, just like we have been doing. And then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got this piece all inked up, distressed, and ready to go. So I'm thinking, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to cut me one of these. So let me get my Sizzix Big Shot out. And then let me find my die. Let's see here. Here it is. So this is the Dainty Doily Border. This is also from LDRS. Um, I love this. It's so pretty. I should have just went through and like cut like, you know, a hundred of these. <laughs> I've been using them. It seems like I've been using them so much. All right, let me grab some of my scraps. Here's some of the scraps from me cutting out the um, mats for the covers. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through. Just my 110 pound white cardstock that I print everything out on. You got to keep your scraps. I'm telling you. All right, let me close this back up. Okay, you could even use this little bit. Like you, you could use that as like a border, you know, on one of your pages. Can you see that? So I don't want to throw that away. I might even use it. You never know. All right. So see how nice and clean that comes off that die? Let me put the die up real quick. Because they get stuck together. All right. So then I'm going to take my Sizzix foam pad and die brush. And I'm just going to gently roll it over top. This die is so intricate. It has so many tiny little pieces um, that I'd be sitting here forever trying to poke through all of them. You know what I mean? It's so pretty. Alrighty, there we go. Alright, so then I'm going to ink this up. Just ever so slightly. I've had a pre pretty heavy hand this whole album, haven't I? Oh, well. It's okay. Where did my little, little craft mat go? I had a little, there it is. I found it. Let's see if I can do it without it. Okay. All right, so let's pull this back over here on the right side. So, there's my little heart piece. There's that piece. And then there's that piece. What do you think? 
I think so, you guys. I think so. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to tack both of these down on the edge so that if you want it to, you could like tuck something on the side there. So I think what I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the mat down. I'm going to be using my Fabri-Tac by Beacon. And I'm going to give it a second to get down in there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, you know what I should be using? <laughs> My art glitter glue. That's what I should be using. I was thinking I had to glue that lace down, so I just grabbed, I just grabbed the uh, fabric tie. Completely forgot. Dang on it. All right. Well, uh, I am going to glue this down first, though. So I'm just going to run a little bit. How far does it go? Let's see. End to end. I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down the edge. Did I get some that far down? I did. Oh, do I, I want it down here. There we go. That's not too bad. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off. I think it's so pretty. This was the cream. This was the one we sprayed that was the creamish color. So pretty. All right, and so then I'm gonna tuck this under here like that, right, well maybe, okay, so I am going to grab the art glitter glue this time, and I'm just going to run some little dots of glue along this edge, and then I'm going to flip it over and run it also on this edge. I don't have to be super neat about it. So Maymay sent me this glue. Thank you, Maymay. <laughs> sent me it to try it, and I really like it. Okay. And I will link her, like I said before, I'll link her down below, her site. She's such a sweet lady. Okay. There we go. So then we can put like an insert here, which I'll be doing my insert soon uh, to everything that needs inserts. We'll be doing that soon. So there's the one side. I like it, right? And we'll have to do like a fun, intricate insert. Do you feel kind of like this is like naked almost? Do you feel like it needs something? Should we add something? Would that be too much? Oh, I feel like it would be too much, but I can't help but look. Or does it tie it in? Am I losing my mind? Oh gosh, you guys. I want to add it so bad. What do you think? <sighs> I'm going to add it. I'm adding it. I'm adding it. Yep. I got this pretty trim. I'm pretty sure it's at Hobby Lobby. I don't have the thingy, the container, but... Okay, I'm adding it. Let's just go all in. What do they say? Go big or go home? That's what we're doing. We're going big. I'm just going to use my fabric tack. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm glad we added it. It needed it. See, now look at it. Yeah. It's so pretty. I like it a lot. And see, of course, we can still put our tags under there. So cute. Okay. Now. <laughs> That's so pretty. I like that. This color combination. Mm, beautiful. All right, let's go to the back side here. So here's the belly band that's going to be a closed belly band when we get done. 
Looks like, looks like it's a little crooked, but that's okay. So I'm thinking this is the scrap from the front pocket with the little hearts on it. Yep, right there. So I'm thinking about using that here. And then this is a scrap from another page, right? So doing that. And then you remember from when we made the covers, when I die cut this little piece, whoops, it didn't focus. When I die cut this, is it gonna focus? There we go. When I die cut this little piece, um, I'm thinking about sticking that under here. I haven't decided. We'll have to we'll have to go ahead and trim these pieces out. Get the um, the mats for this. And let me put this mat up first. So the mat for that belly band is on page. 25 like that. so this piece here is going to be or do I want this dark pink right here and then this piece be this piece right here okay guys I'm gonna ink I'm gonna ink I'm gonna cut them out and then I'm gonna ink them up and distress them and then I'll be back also I have this piece here do y'all remember this piece it was from here where we cut that off you know that side there I was thinking about maybe using that I don't know I haven't decided maybe like I don't know I don't know anyways I'm gonna cut these out and then I'll be back okay I got these ready I think I've changed my mind I think what I'm gonna do you guys is I think I'm gonna put it like this and like this and then have this here I think or maybe have it here. No, I think I'm gonna have it here. Like that. What do you guys think? And I might even leave it open to be, no. I don't wanna leave it open. What do you think? I like it, I like it like that. I might have to add some, do I need some trim or something? Is that what I need? Here's my other trim. Do I need to add some trim? Like right here. Um, oh, I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but I clearly do not. First thing, I'm going to attach, oh, I did it again. Let me just grab the art glitter glue. I don't need both for this, I don't think. This is just the art glitter glue. I'm gonna go ahead, attach this down. Like that. We're just doing it, we're just going for it. Remember, I'm gonna close this up, so we're gonna attach this down. It doesn't even remember. It doesn't even. I should didn't even need to cut out that fancy part. But hey, it is what it is. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this trim down to the back side here. Like that. And then 
attach that down like that. Oops, I hope I just didn't get my head in the way. So I'm going to cut these edges off of the lace, not the doily piece. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to use that. I think it's just too much. So now I'm just going to run some glue along this edge and I'm going to hit it some dots. Can you see? I'm almost out of, out of camera. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with some dots so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'm going to run some glue along this edge. And I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to hold it for just a second. And I need to make sure that... It's not glued down to anything, and it's not. Uh -oh. Could you use it as a stopper. That's just too much. It's just too much. We'll use it for something else. So then we'll have, like, we'll have, not that, we'll have a, a fancy insert in there. It's a belly band. It's a closed belly band. Right? I think that's cute. I still want to, I still want to add. I still want to add some color right there. This is all the crusher. Um, here's a piece, just a random piece just sitting there. What if I added this to that edge? How does that look in the monitor? Eh. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm just going to use that art glitter again. I bet it holds this trim down just fine. We'll see. I need to start with a straight edge. There, to there. Okay. Okay. It's gonna take a minute to dry, isn't it? Might be cute for a stick pin. Where's one of my bow stick pins? Maybe not this one, but that might be cute for a stick pin. We'll see. We'll see. So yeah, there we go. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so I think that we're going to stop there for this video. So we've got the pages put in and we got the pocket in the front and the, um, the belly band in the back done. So the next video, I think, I really think I'm going to do the stick pins. So that should be coming up next. The stick pins, maybe even paper clips. I haven't decided how much I'm going to do, but and then we're going to do the inserts and things um, and the final embellishing. So we're almost done. We're, we're at the tail end of this beautiful mini album. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that circle right there. And check out the other videos that you see. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.